today I'm going to be doing 10 3 by 3 walkthrough solves. Scrambles will be in the description below if you want to follow along. And the cube I'm going to be using in this video is a Scan 54M. And just to, just to let you know that all these solves will be at an intermediate or an advanced level. So I recommend you that you are like sub uh, 20 on the Rubik's Cube to watch this video. With that being said, let's begin with the first scramble. So for this first scramble, what I see is this crossed edge and this cross edge. So what I could do is face the green sign and do something like an F prime, R prime, and a U2, then F2 to insert these two edges. And then I see this one right here. I will do something like a D. Then I'll insert this one by doing a wide R, U prime, Y prime, then D2. And then I instantly see this first pair right here. So I'll do something like this. Second pair. I have this edge in the back and this corner right here. Third pair. Fourth pair. OL. And U perm. For the second scramble, what I see are these two blocks, one here and another one there, and I see this edge. And I decide to save these two blocks by doing something like a U prime, then F2, then R prime to insert the red edge. And I see these two, so I can do something like an L2, then F, F, then an L prime to get this. And I can actually do an X cross, so I see this edge right here, I'm going to insert it here. Then I see an edge right there, I'll just kick it out, then insert it, then D2. It's, some, it's a keyhole trick that I learned. Now for the third pair, I see these two. Fourth pair. OL. Y perm. For this third scramble, what I see are these two edges, the orange white and the white green. What I could do is do something like an R F2. Then I'll rotate here and I see this white red edge. So I'll move it out of the way by doing an F prime. Then I'll do a D R prime F to finish the cross. Now for the first pair, I see this edge and this corner, and that actually creates an, another F12 pair which I'll track, but I'm going to be doing this second pair, then I'll do this third pair, fourth pair, OL, R perm. For this fourth scramble, what I see is this edge, and I can put this edge here by doing something like a D, R prime, D prime, R. That actually inserts both in the right spot. Then I see this F12 pair, which I can move out of the way so that it won't break up. Then I see this edge, and I can do something like a D2, F, D prime to finish the cross. For the first pair, I instantly see this one. So I'll uh, remove it out of its original spot and put it in the right spot. Now for the second pair, these two. Third pair. Then fourth pair. OL. J perm. For this fifth scramble, I see these two edges. So I could do something like an F2, R prime, F prime. Then I see this one, 
I can insert it in the back. Then I see this one right here. And end off with the D2. Now for this pair, I see this one, which I can insert by doing something like this. Second pair. Third pair. And fourth pair. OL. G perm. For the sixth scramble, I see this edge and this edge. I can insert both edges by doing an L and an F2. And this corner ends up here, creating a block. And I can insert this edge in the back by doing a U, wide R prime, U, wide R. And to create like an X cross, I will flip this edge here. Then do a D2. That's another keyhole trick that I learned. Second pair. Third pair. Fourth pair. OL. Y perm. For the seventh scramble, I see these two edges and this edge on the top. I can do something like an M prime U2. Then I see this edge. I can do something like an R D prime F. Now for the first pair, I see these two. Second pair. Third pair, fourth pair, OL, and a T perm. For this eighth scramble, I see this edge, which I can insert in the back by doing a B2. Then I see this edge, I can insert it like this. And then finally this one. First pair, I see this one, and I'm tracking this one. I'm keeping this for a second pair. Now, third pair. Fourth pair. OL. Another T pair. For this ninth scramble, I see these two edges, and I can do something like a U prime, R prime, U2. Then I'll insert this edge here. Now for first pair, I see these two. Second pair. Third pair. Fourth pair, OL, and an A perm. For the tenth and final scramble, I see this edge and this block right here. I can do something like a U, L, U2. Then I see this edge right here. And I can create, make it, use it to build an X cross. So I can do something like a U two R. Then I'll do a D prime, F prime, and then insert the final edge. Second pair, third pair, fourth pair. OL. I do not know the algorithm for this case, so I'll do tulip and eperm. 
So that is it for my video on 3x3 intermediate slash advanced walkthrough solves. Hope these walkthrough solves were helpful for you. Be sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.